John and Pyramid of Pyramid Fitness. I'm going to show you a cool little piece of equipment in the gym that most gyms might not have, but we actually do have. And it's the Rogue Butcher. Uh, some people call it Prowler. You see these uh, in a lot of football programs where um, the athletes are pushing them across the football field. But what we've done here is uh, made it gym friendly. We have a little AstroTurf on every section here. There's three points that contact the ground. The grass is allowing us to slide up and down the concrete here. So if you have a concrete surface and you don't want to make a lot of noise, because you can definitely push the metal on the concrete, if you don't want to do a lot of noise, put the, the turf here underneath, you'll slide and um, you'll be ready to go. So what I'm going to show you is a few things you can do with the, uh, the butcher today. One is a high push down the hallway. So what I have clients do when they come to this guy is walk out your arms. I always start with you know, I always describe it as pushing a shopping cart. So your butt's gonna be out behind you, you're gonna take small steps and just more or less get accustomed to that sensation of pushing and what that's gonna feel like. After um, you, you push for a little while, you feel comfortable, you can pick the speed up with the legs, so gradually adding a little more explosiveness. And the long term with this, uh, you're gonna be running actually as fast as you can and pressing. I've got light weight on here. You come, I'll show you how the easy process. Everyone can do it. Essentially, you have a plate, you want to make it harder, you put it on. Let's do these guys for the weight applied. So there's a, there's a high push, which is uh, wonderful for the glutes, the hamstrings, the butt, and the calves. There's also a low press. So if you come on the other side of it, it's a little harder here. It's harder to put your weight into it. You're lower to the ground, so you, um, that makes it much harder. Your belly's going to work quite a bit. Same deal, more or less. Push it, okay? If the longer the distance, the harder it is. Here at Studio Mix, we make our clients go up and down or do it multiple rounds. Same thing, lock out the arms. If you soften, you'll lose some of the power from your legs. So keep the arms locked out and start with walking, and over time, you can add more of a sprint, okay? So, one more thing to show you, and then I'll let you go. This is a fun, fun, fun toy. What I like. What I like about the butcher is that it's a wonderful way to get your heart rate up and a workout and kind of have that, have that variety. If your legs are a little a little bored of your squats, your lunges, and your step-ups, this is the way to go to get that extra volume, you need that burn in the thighs and butt. So another thing that I do with clients is pulling. I have a rope here, I'm going over a little duct tape on the end of the grip. Starting the same way, this is walking. You can either stay straight up and step back. You can put hamstrings and the quads here, or you can soften the knees, which I prefer, keeping the shoulders down, compacted, arms straight, and you're going to walk back with your butt sticking out behind you. This, after 50 to 100 feet, those hamstrings and those thighs and that butt really start burning. And, more or less, you get the idea. This is your introduction to Studio Mix's Butcher. If you haven't been here, if you've never seen one of these, come here and try it out. I'm a huge fan of it. My legs and my butt, all because of this. Thanks for joining Permit Fitness. We'll see you soon.